Well, at the forum that we're going to, we, we have today, uh, there are five young bee farmers. Four of them actually have off-farm jobs. They're very interested in driving on uh, their beef enterprise and maximizing the kind of returns they can get. Uh, every bit as much as a, a full-time farmer is. It's just that they want to fit it in around their their other job, so to speak. You know, there's a whole suite of technologies. We're calling it profitable technologies. Traditionally, beef farmers haven't adopted uh, technologies at the same rate as, say, dairy farmers. If you take grassland uh, management, for example, it tends to be pretty poor in beef farm uh, beef farming generally. For example, the grass utilization is only about it's less than six ton uh, per hectare. Yet the potential is twice that. So I think one of the messages we're going to learn today is that for every extra ton of grass they can utilize, it's worth uh, 105 euro. So that's one key lesson. Um, so this basically we would be saying to farm to be farmers if you if you want to put in uh, if you want to be to have a well managed grazing system, you need to put in paddocks and roadways and invest in that and uh, water troughs and so on. Uh, but that's an investment that will repay substantially. The second thing I guess we'd be saying in relation to grassland management, again, a very old message, you've got to get the soil fertility right. Too much of our soils uh, on beef farms, and not only on beef farms indeed, are uh, suboptimal because they have not, haven't been adequately limed and inadequate use of, of, of P and K fertilizer. So that's the second lesson. I guess the third main lesson will be around, would be around uh, breeding quality stock. Uh, we would be strong advocates of the beef data genomic scheme because I think that's essential to improving the, li uh, the reliability of the breeding indices. They've worked very well in dairy, for example. There's no reason why, with more information, uh, that they won't work well for, uh, for beef farmers as well. So, so again, the, the message is very similar. It's about breeding good stock and using grass efficiently. And again, I suppose the other main message would be that you've got to pay attention to uh, the financial performance of your farm. And we'll be strong advocates of farmers to use some basic uh, analytical tool that helps them understand financial management. There, there's huge potential for improving efficiencies inside the farm gate in terms of breeding better animals and using more grass. And these are very positive message. Our best bee farmers are producing uh, at a level and uh, performing at a level in excess of the, the average dairy farmer, for example. And that's, I think that's a positive message.